Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey with Southern Kitchen. If you've been watching our series on how to fry, we've done standard breading, we've done tempura, we're now about to tackle fritter batter. If you haven't seen any of our series yet, welcome to fritter batter. Uh, this is just kind of a quick beignet. I really love the, the New Orleans donuts, but don't really often have the time to make a yeast raised, you know, proof donut that takes several hours, sometimes an overnight raise. I just want that sensation of hot fried dough coated in powdered sugar. So we're gonna do a basic fritter batter in a sweet variety right now. Cool thing about this is the ratio is the same for any type of fritter batter you can imagine. You could do vegetables, you could do meats, anything like that, the ratio is all the same, so check it out. We're gonna start in our larger bowl here with some dried ingredients. This is all-purpose flour. This is one cup. One teaspoon of baking powder. And we'll get to it in a second, but one egg those three things are kind of the hallmark of the ratio of fritter batters. Uh, we're going to send this one a little further into dessert land and add about a tablespoon of granulated sugar and just a little bit of kosher salt. Just give that a whisk. All right, now time to assemble Team Wet. We're going to start with some milk. This is a half a cup. Always two parts flour to one part liquid uh, in a fritter batter. So for the one cup of flour, we've got a half cup of milk. We've got our one egg. We'll beat that in a moment. And just a little bit of melted butter. This is gonna help soften our dough, or our batter, if you will. And we're just gonna whisk this all together until the egg is completely incorporated. Now here's the important part. We're gonna make a quick bread here. Uh, so in this instance, we're gonna put the wet into the dry, but we do not wanna overwork this. The more you work this, you're gonna develop a gluten structure and that'll make your fritters tough. We don't want that. We want it soft and tender. Just like an Al Green song. So we're gonna give it just big strokes to start, just enough to bring it off the bottom and the sides. Shake your whisk off so you don't have any clumps here. Just work slowly and deliberately, and don't just kind of keep cranking at it. A few there again, we're gonna shake our, our whisk off. A little bit lumpy is okay. Everything's off the sides and the bottom, no big clumps of flour, that's good. Like I said, a little bit of lumps in the batter is okay. Now the secret to really good fritters or quick beignets in this case is parking this in the fridge for 30 minutes just to again relax that gluten, let it soften up, and then we'll go to the fryer. Now it's time to fry. We have our heavy Dutch oven uh, filled with vegetable oil, just something neutral like a canola oil with a high smoking point. Our thermometer brought to 350 degrees. We have a metal disher right here to scoop our batter out. You could use two spoons if you like. If you do that, a little hint, Spray it with pan spray and the, the uh, batter will slide right off. And we have a plate lined with a paper towel uh, with our wire skimmer or spider as we call it, uh, just for fishing them out. So we're just gonna scoop batches into the hot oil. As you see, we're starting to see bubbles form around and the beignets float right to the surface. This is good. Let's give them enough room to move around. We don't want to crowd these too much. If you really make these whatever size you like, I like just kind of the standard basic disher that you get. This is about a three quarters of an ounce scoop. I find that when you cook at 350 degrees with this size scoop, the outside is golden brown and the inside is done and fluffy, about the same proportion. If you make them too big, you run the risk of the outside turning too dark before the inside's cooked all the way through. And these will float around. We're gonna use our spider as well just to make sure that they turn and brown evenly. And we're gonna cook these for about four or five minutes until, like we said, golden brown and delicious on the outside, but there's no raw dough, just soft and fluffy on the inside. So here we are, as soon as we took our beignets out of the hot oil, we immediately dusted them through a wire strainer with powdered sugar. 
and it's just that easy. Just a quick fritter, they're gonna be nice and soft and delicious, and if you want a quick tip, make sure you inhale away from the sugar before you take a bite so you don't get the coughing fits like you would if you were down in the French Quarter. It's just that easy. For more cooking tips and recipes, visit southernkitchen.com.